Okay, so I have to admit, I'm very, very impressed with the way in which a lot of you have managed to take the um, instructions from the first couple of days and put them together. And actually wasn't expecting to put this video out until next week. So congratulations for being a little bit quicker than I initially anticipated. But today we're gonna move things up a notch and make things a bit more difficult. So where you join me currently, I've actually got open my previous work, which was the one which was on the thumbnail for the last piece. All I did between when you last saw me when I was editing it and where it ended up with was I did something called desaturating one of the layers. Now desaturate is a fancy term which means to make something black and white to remove the colour from it. And in order to do that what I need to do is just go to my layers and make sure I have selected the layer of me with the background removed. I'm going to go to image, oh sorry, I'm going to go to adjustments and desaturate. Now for me Currently, it has no impact because the image is already black and white. But for you, what should have now happened is that layer has been made black and white. So, as I said, we're gonna make things a little bit more difficult today. And this is gonna be in particular important to those of you who looked at Dan Mountford's work because that's really who we're looking at today. We're gonna to try and take the flag overlay that we made and convert some of those skills into making what's known as a double exposure. Now, Dan Mountford, very importantly, um, actually is able to produce his images without much digital editing. He's able to do most of it on the camera using some settings which he's put together with the equipment that he uses. But for us, we're gonna use some technical wizardry to try and put it together. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, so, I am going to add a new layer. I'm gonna add an image layer and I'm going to take my photos for my editing and I'm gonna find one of the landscape images, there we go, that I saved before. Now I used a website called Pexels, which I'll put on the bottom, which is really great for finding free stock images that you can use when you're getting to grips with editing. Now I have rather a large landscape here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch it and I'm going to rotate it. And I'm gonna, oop, there we go, I'm gonna rotate it over a portion of my face. And I'm gonna cover, let's go with this side, okay? Now, currently the way, thing, the way that things are standing, I can just see half the landscape and half my face. So if we go to um, adjusting that blending mode, let's put it into overlay. Let's drop the transparency down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna move this layer around. There we go, that's looking better already. Until I get, a nice little effect where I can see some of the tree line which is poking over a portion of my face. Now, what we could do ultimately is we could kind of finish things there and say, okay, if I wanted to, what I could do is I could crop this image in, have it like that. Wow, what a nice double exposure effect that I've produced because I can see some of a colored landscape and also some of a portrait of my face, but, what I want you to do is to try and take this a little bit further and again, increase the skills that you've put together and make this a bit more difficult. One is by using the eraser tool and one is by using the paintbrush tool with a black color. Now, with the eraser tool, what I can do if I have my landscape layer selected, I'm just gonna go back to the brush and I'm gonna have it as like a medium sized brush. I'm gonna have a little bit soft, which means it's a little bit more delicate around the edges. It doesn't have such a hard edge to where the eraser finishes. And I'm gonna increase the opacity to about, let's put it at about 75%. Okay, so let's make this brush a little bit bigger. Now, one of the things that I can do is if I want to see more of the face, with the landscape layer selected, I can just choose to start erasing portions of the um, the landscape so that I can see more of the face. So you can see now I can see the eye really clearly, whereas if I take a couple of steps back, it's a little bit more difficult to see. Okay, so that's one of the ways in which you can improve this. You can maybe have more of a gradient effect so that on the far side of the face for me, on the right side of the face, it is maybe less of a landscape and more of a portrait, which then starts to transition across into that landscape double exposure, okay? Now, the other thing that you can do, um, and actually again, sorry, both of these are with the eraser tool. With the eraser tool, I'm going to drop the opacity down a little bit. Let's go to about 50% on this one. 
one of the things I can do with the land with the portrait layer selected is I can actually just start to erase portions of the face um, which are maybe in the skyline so that you can't see okay now that creates a bit more of a mystical effect which is similar to what Dan Mountford starts to achieve in his images where portions of the face start to disappear and you've just got that landscape so if I was quite meticulous with this and erasing this section of my face here what I then start to have is just a portrait on one side which is the right hand side and then on the left hand side what I have there is just elements of this landscape image which are starting to poke out a little bit more okay um, I could take this a little bit further and I could choose to raise a little bit more of this and one of the other things that I could do if I have the landscape layer selected I can go to adjustments I can go to levels move this to the side and I can tinker with these settings a little bit more. So I can make that landscape layer a little bit lighter or darker, depending on how it works with the image. Now, a lot of this is gonna be very, very dependent on the image that you have selected and how it is interacting with the portrait that you have taken. Again, I would like you for this one to make sure that you have your own image that you've taken okay for at least the portrait if you're using one of a landscape from the internet then that's perfectly fine that's not a problem okay um, this is going to be a piece of work that you submit via email to me or you can send it across on the chat on Microsoft Teams to see how you're putting this together and this one will be a summative assessment okay so the flag overlay was a bit of a formative practice this is going to be a summative assessment so Good luck with this. I really, really am excited to see what you're able to put together. If you have any questions, as always, please reach out to me either in the comments below, in the Microsoft Teams or via email, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.